And oh guys, in a brand new slip tape date, Saul and Mac G respond to Focalistic. And now, for more on the story, just stay tuned to this video. And oh, just to recap for some of you guys who might not know what's going on here, Focalistic came out alive when he was addressing podcast. And it's all these podcast niggas. The podcast niggas. So if you have a podcast, you better make sure you come in correct because now this live is about to be a podcast fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for every podcast right now. But it's your life. Be angry. Yeah, I'm going to be angry, dog. What the fuck? You guys make artists doubt themselves. You guys. You guys make artists commit suicide. You guys make artists go through depression. You guys are not worth it. If you have a podcast right now, make sure your podcast is correct. And I have to give a shout out to uh, the Fred Packer, the Sobering Podcast. I fucking love you niggas. You guys always come with like a proper analysis, you know what I mean? If you're telling me about Barjewang, everything essay, I get a lot of people like I'm a fan of the Bonang Basuwe, Leno Hegidibala Nuki, and Nuki Shop. Okay, Bonang, I've thought about it. Auntie B, why it's a go ratatata, Bonang, I want to skim saga, you know. So what the money for five million? Come on, get five million. I can calculate. Okay, shop. I went through my brain. I calculated. Adiba, look at okay. That man over there, over there, that 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 man. And plus, he can level up. One challenge, me raha in Nawela. Nasa ilo habi. Get five million. That that. Adiba, Lori. I said five million. I said five. Okay. And obviously in that live, a lot of people kind of felt like he was not really trying to address Weir. Most people thought he was trying to address McG and Saul, but he was scared to do it. And that is because Saul did sort of have some sort of criticism on Focalistic's lyrics because Focalistic has this thing where he sort of says, Mengele, Mengele, Spetele, Spetele. Well, like, oh yeah? He's okay. like, yeah, listen. <laughs> Helmen, Kelele, <laughs> Mengele, Mengele, Spetele, Spetele. <laughs> Do you get the outer layers of these bars? This is lyricism. I'm the paragon. I'm the paragon of lyricism. When they talk about lyricism, they talk about me. Mengele, Mengele, Spetele, Spetele. I'm like, whoa. He's like, Spetele means crazy. I'm like, oh. And then Mengele is like. And well, in the response, someone asked Saul about the situation and Saul sort of insinuated that Focalistic started it. So basically, Saul and Meg G sort of had an interview with Focalistic. They went to his house, set up the whole thing and interviewed him for over an hour. And after that, Focalistic sort of asked them to take the interview down. Saul, Saul, Saul. Uh, oh, lastly, Saul, please stop doing what you're doing to Focalistic. He's our homeboy, dog. Stop it. Hey, stop man. It. Focalistic started. No, no, Focalistic started. That motherfucker ditched us when we were in shit. No, we took our what? time, effort. All these guys went to his house, we interviewed him, and then don't play the interview. He started, bro. All right, cool. Thank you. He started. And well, for those of you guys who don't understand why Focalistic would do that, there was a time when people wanted McG to actually fall because of his alleged homophobic comments. People accused him of being homophobic, and so he started losing endorsements and some sort of sponsorships. And at the time, his brand wasn't really looking that good. And so, obviously, it is understandable why Focalistic would say guys please do not air the interview at the time it wasn't the right time to sort of associate himself with Mac G and obviously maybe the guys didn't actually like that idea of having him pull out of the interview after they spent so much time and effort in making it and so that's how things started either way you guys team much think about it do you blame Focalistic for pulling out of the interview or do you think that Saul and Mac G are sort of catching way too many feelings than they should comment down in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about it and I will respond to your comments with my own thoughts as well and if you like this video please give a thumbs up because it actually does help this channel and please do not forget to subscribe for more updates on your favorite celebrities